Good evening, guys. JJ Ramos here, Mr. Money in Life. Welcome to Random Thoughts. Now, uh, I had a bit of, you know, I had a little change of scenery right now. I'm in my living room right now doing this video. So, well, before we get, before we start, before we start with the episode, I'd like to remind everybody to, well, to hit subscribe and the bell for a few, for uh, for for the late for my latest for the latest episode of the show or for any new videos that I got okay just hit subscribe and the bell okay now <clears throat> uh, not a lot has happened uh, this week but I will share with you some uh, some good per good performing shares I did this week and mm -hmm, it's in my notes right here <laughs> yes I have notes. <laughs> Okay, there was, there's, there's this uh, article I shared uh, last Tuesday, it's called, uh, that, that, that actually tells, uh, based, based on, based on Coindesk's analysis actually, Coindesk is a cryptocurrency exchange, okay, yes, I'm also, I'm also into cryptocurrencies, uh, for me, it's one of the most, for me, it's one of the most convenient investment platforms right now. Um, well, you know, well, you know how Bitcoin has been performing as of late, but for me, as a, um, as a, what you call this, a, a well-educated investor, I should say, um, uh, Bitcoin's performing really well, in my opinion, okay? Now, for this, for this, for this particular share, Coindesk stated that 2019 will be a comeback for the cryptocurrencies. Now, of course, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I'm going to leave a link in that in the description below. Okay, so you can so you can check that out. So you can check that so you can check that particular share of mine. And well, just read it for yourself. Okay, be free to to uh, to leave comments either on uh, on the share itself or or on the article itself. All right. So what else? Oh, now lately I've been um, I've been somewhat sanitizing my my Instagram account. Uh, I've decided to separate the my business side from my personal and hobby side. So I made a pers I made uh, a pers I made a personal Instagram account. So. Whatever followers I had in the business account that were somewhat, somewhat unrelated, so I had them, I had them follow that account. Now, I also, now while I was doing that, I saw, I saw this, uh, what's called this? I saw this user who has this, what's called this, who has this one photo split into nine. All right. So I got curious. Maybe I thought maybe I can maybe I can use this to uh, do content marketing on Instagram. So I did some research. I googled, of course. I use who doesn't who doesn't use Google these days? So I googled it. Uh, image splitter. So I tried uh, a few. I tried a few of them, and uh, there are there are web based and app based. Uh, I didn't I didn't like. Uh, I didn't like the app based, the app based ones because uh, there's too much there's too much storage right now in my other device. So I tried the web I tried the web based ones. There's this one particular web based image splitter I really liked. So I'm gonna leave a description. I'm going to leave a link of that in the description below so you can check it out and try their service for yourself. Now, most of I think most of the most of the web based image splitters. Uh, after splitting the image you chose to have them split they're going to send it to you in a zip file now not everybody has a laptop right right now uh, I've yet to fix my laptop I get to have my laptop fixed and so I got I got two mobile devices so I so uh, unzipping a zip file for in such a device is rather unsafe right it's rather unsafe and it's unpredictable okay there was there's the one I'm recommending you guys in the description below its link 
uh, after splitting the after splitting the image, they're going to have you download it, okay? Which is easy, which is more convenient, okay? They're going to have they're going to have you download nine parts of it, so you you just have to you just have to monitor which ones are you downloading in order. You have to download them in order so that when you post them, you have to post them in such a way that the most uh, what you call this. You have to post them in such a way that the um, the one in the lower right corner goes first, and the one in the upper left corner goes last. Right? That that's the trick there. Now, if you can check out my Instagram, I've already I've already started posting parts of that parts of that photo. All right? Parts of that picture. So enjoy it. <laughs> so you so just follow me on Instagram so you can see. Uh, what's going? What picture is going to take shape after after nine posts? Then what else? Oh, okay. <clears throat> I am proud to announce that I have already jumped Canva. You asking me why? Because of Adobe Spark post. Okay, it's for me. It's a um, it's a more convenient app to use, and it's got uh, it's got features that. Canva doesn't have like um, like moving like moving text or moving graphics, or you can uh, uh, oh, there's a there's a seamless way of um, collaging some pictures over there. You just drag and drop. It's a drag and drop thing in Sparkbox, and it's from Adobe. Okay, so it's it's a so it's a it's a there's a there's a reputable comp, reputable company backing the app up. Now right now it's still on beta. Again, I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can check so that you so that you can check the app yourself. And well, that's my opinion. Okay, it's more convenient than Canva because well, when it comes to slow connections, Canva doesn't deliver. Right? If you're in the middle of uh, what you call this, finalizing your Instagram post or whatever, it's sorts of stops and makes you retry makes you retry the whole thing but here in spark post it doesn't right it doesn't i so far uh i've yet to experience the same thing i experienced with canva here in spark post all right so you better check that out it's it's still on beta nothing's uh nothing's final yet when it comes to when it comes to this app but so far, it's looking good. Okay, it's very useful right now, even even though it's still on beta. And oh, okay. Last but not least, I told I told you guys in my last uh, in the last episode that changes will be coming to the blog. Well, I made those I made those changes really early this week. I. Uh, I think you can, you can tell that I'm excited. I was somewhat excited, but no, uh, it was necessary because I needed to make the changes real quick. Uh, I've become dissatisfied with Linktree. Right? You know Linktree? If you're if you're an Instagram user, you know what Linktree is. It's a uh, it's a service. It's a service. It's an independent service actually that um, that lets you put multiple links under one link. So that, so that one link you're going to put it in the bio in your Instagram bio. Uh, as of late, I've become dissatisfied with it because I have to, um, I have to constantly change the links. Uh, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, suddenly, sometimes uh, inconveniently. So I've decided to ditch link three for. For my Instagram business account, but I'm not letting I'm not letting Linktree go yet. Uh, there's still some use for it. So I've decided to put uh, the side of my the side of the web address of my blog on my Instagram bio. Now, for the shares I'm doing, so for the shares I'm doing there, I've now created a special page for it on my blog, on my blog site. It's called shares of the month, so you can check it out right, 
right now you can check it out you can check them out right now so just go to my so, so just go to the address of my blog you can check it out there it's still it's now a it's now a legitimate menu item there and well that's it but more changes will be coming to the blog so so watch out just uh follow and follow me in any of my social accounts especially here on youtube okay and what else what else did i forget mm -hmm. what else did i forget what else did i forget what else did i forget now i remember <laughs> now i remember i'll no longer be featuring the uh the latest blog post in in random thoughts so i, I decided to uh post a separate video about that so each and every time so probably every every friday 12 noon you're going to see that video announcing the new blog post so it'll be a weekly so it'll be a weekly thing for me it'll not be a weekly thing for me it'll just be it'll just be a plain announcement of uh, of a new blog post nothing fancy except for the thumbnail <laughs> except for the thumbnail so that's about it and well how about commenting on the background <laughs> okay let me um, let me give you a tour of my of of, of, uh, of the living room okay see my my parents wedding picture yeah that's that's my that's my mom and dad when they got married okay that's me <laughs> that's me in college <laughs> that's my that's my college graduation pic if you can see it okay and that's my that's my sister she was about um, one year old two years old in that in that photo I don't I don't remember anymore okay so wow this is one benefit this is one benefit you get of being a subscriber to my channel. Okay, you get to you get to sometimes uh, you get to sometimes see what what the inside of my house is. All right. <clears throat> so that's it, guys. Um, not too much to report now. So except for the changes in the blog, so I have to not, I have to let you I have to let you guys know about that because some of you may be may be following my blog. And you should be following my blog if you're a network marketer, okay? Now, uh, one last thing. I'm going to call my uh, for 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 the sake of for the sake of branding, personal branding. I'm going to call you guys the money and life movement. All right. Anybody who follows any of my social accounts is a member of the money and life movement, right? Automatic. So you don't have to no no membership. Of course, there there is a membership. All right, there is a membership. Uh, there's there is a membership fee I charge, if you want to become part of my personal team of uh, of Team Money in Life. Actually, you're gonna you're gonna work closely with me. So well, that ends episode seven. I forgot to mention <laughs> I forgot to mention that earlier. Okay, let me repeat it again. Episode seven. Episode 7 of Random Thoughts. Okay. So, thank you for watching. Wow. First time I said that. Okay. First time I said that in Random Thoughts. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the, I'll see you in the next episode.